A train carrying the remains of nearly 300 victims of the Malaysia Airlines down plane is now on Ukrainian government territory. Rebels in control of the crash site handed over the bodies along with the plane's black boxes to international authorities. The bodies will be taken to the Netherlands where they will be identified. The black boxes will be examined by international experts with experience reading damaged devices. Among the people killed in the plane crash, at least six ex experts on AIDS. WJZ is live. Tracy Leong spoke to a Baltimore doctor who knew one of them. Tracy. Good evening, Vic. The loss of these world leaders is taking a toll on the medical leaders right here in Maryland, especially for those who knew them personally and worked closely with them on their mission to put an end to AIDS and other viral illnesses. Aboard Malaysia Airlines Flight 17, some of the greatest minds leading the way for AIDS research, heading to a conference in Australia, including 59-year-old Yop Langa, who dedicated more than 30 years to HIV research and treatment. We've lost a, a, a very important leader, uh, global, one of, the, one of the global leaders. Dr. Robert Gallo with the University of Maryland School of Medicine co-discovered HIV as the cause of AIDS and was Yope's friend and colleague. Yope was a professor of medicine for the University of Amsterdam and known for his push to bring cheap medicine into the hands of the poor. Dr. Gallo tells yeah. WJZ his legacy Perfect. will be honored. People will become uh, even more determined uh, to do better. While Dr. Gallo is saddened by the loss of his friend Yope, he says his heart goes out to all the families of the victims on board that flight. Let's not forget there were 200 other people. Everybody important on the flight is not just doing AIDS research. Every life was important. Also aboard Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 was Yope's longtime partner in life and work, Jacqueline Van Tongren. She was also a doctor and campaigned to put cheaper medicine into the hands of the poor. Back to you. Tracy, thank you. Former President Bill Clinton is scheduled to attend the AIDS conference and has said he is, quote, sickened by what happened.